Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is another classic that I never really played before. And like God of War, I'm wondering, why the hell did I wait so long to go through Fallout 4? This is really like my first real introduction to the Fallout series. This is the first Fallout game that I've completed. If you're new here, welcome or not welcome back. Please leave a like and subscribe if you liked the video. Got a lot more content coming soon. All right, let's get into it. Fallout 4 is an open world post-apocalyptic game. It was released in November of 2015 and is available on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. The main story takes place in the year 2287, 210 years after the Great War, which was essentially a giant nuclear war. Your character is simply known as Soul Survivor. The game starts with you waking up from a cryogenic sleep. You're in a bunker underground, and that's how you survive the nuclear fallout. The first thing you see when you wake up is your wife lose her life and your son getting kidnapped while you are helpless inside your cryopod. After the main character leaves his pod, now starts to search for his son. That's pretty much the main goal of the story. The main area that you are in is called the Commonwealth. As you travel throughout the Commonwealth, you'll learn more and more about the current conditions of the world as you help different communities of people that you meet. Throughout the story, you'll run into different people and creatures, friend and foe alike. Like in any post-apocalyptic scenario, there are groups of people spread out all across the area trying to do what they can to survive. Some are trying to establish order and help as many people as they can, and others are vying for power and trying to dominate and control the area. You'll run into all of these different groups. Some of them will ask you to become an official member and ask you to join them in their fight for their mission. You will have to evaluate and decide what group or groups align with your own goals and integrity and who will help you to achieve the goal of finding your son. You won't always be traveling by yourself either. More times than not, you'll actually have a companion traveling with you. At first, you'll travel with this dog that you meet early game. You lose your owner, buddy. Okay then, let's stick together. Then after you meet more people, you'll run into more potential companions. After a while, you'll have a couple different options on who you want to travel with you. Sometimes you might pick a specific partner depending upon the situation, and sometimes it's just about who you find to be the most useful and versatile. The map here is huge, and even after beating the game, there are still a lot of areas I have yet to explore. Sometimes when you go out and explore new areas, you meet new people who might even have new missions for you. Even finding new buildings gives you whole new areas to explore. One of my favorite areas of this game is the combat. You can switch between first and third person shooter mode, depending upon which one you're most comfortable with. The slow motion bullet time used in Fallout is called VATS, Vault Tech Assistant Targeting System. It allows you to slow time and take aim at a particular body part. A lot of shooters have some sort of slow motion system, and I like the way Fallout has done theirs. There's also a nice weapons modification system. You can modify most of the different guns to fit your specific needs. Each modification also has other effects that you have to take into account. For an example, if you put a longer barrel on a gun, it may have longer range and increased accuracy, but also the weapon will weigh heavier now. In order to make any modifications though, you have to make sure that you're carrying the proper supplies. Some common parts that are needed to make any changes would be things like screws and adhesives. Inventory space and weight carried is one of the main components that you have to account for when traveling from place to place. Your character can only carry a certain amount of weight at a time, so you will have to prioritize what to carry on your body, what to store, or what to drop and leave behind. If you're carrying too much weight, your character will become encumbered and won't be able to run. You also won't be able to fast travel anywhere while encumbered. The attribute point system here is somewhat similar to other games. This is how you upgrade your character. You gain attribute points as your level increases in the game. The main way to increase your level is by gaining XP by completing different missions. 
when determining what to level up, your gameplay style is one of the factors in determining the importance of a specific skill. Also, where you are in the story and what specific skills you might need at the moment is also a determining factor for you to consider. The health system used here is somewhat unique. You have your classic first aid, which is the stem packs. Then you have different cooked meats from the creatures and animals that you find throughout the world. After you take them out, then you cook their meat. Pause, because that sounded a little bit crazy. <laughs> All of the different animals have different levels of recovery and health benefits. Some might have effects like increasing your attack potency for a specific time period, or something like you can carry more weight for a specific time period. Following along with the story is definitely one of my favorite components of the game. I like that you have autonomy in some of your decision making, and the story isn't completely streamlined. Like you can somewhat rush through it if you like, but you can also take your time and really explore the commonwealth. The twist at the end is pretty cool too, and it's something I didn't really expect. Now this is definitely not a short game. The main quest will take you roughly like 30 hours to complete, with side quests and missions getting you up to about 80 hours. And if you want to 100% complete everything, it'll take you up to about 200 hours of gameplay time. Overall though, Fallout 4 definitely lived up to the hype. It's a great game and it's definitely a classic. And one of my favorite things about doing this YouTube channel is going back through some of the classic games that I've missed and playing through them. Fallout 4 is definitely a game that I would recommend. If you haven't played it before and been living under a rock like I have, or if it's just been a while since you picked it up, I recommend playing it again. I know the series is gaming a lot of steam with the series now that is out for Amazon Prime. That's something I plan on checking out sometime soon as well. If you made it this far, thanks. Please leave a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about Fallout 4, the Fallout game series, or what game you'd like to see me talk about next. Also, be on the lookout for the anime channel. Still got it coming soon. Until next time we're out, peace.